Hello and welcome to Asian Petrolhead. I'm Charlie Min, Editor-in-Chief of MotorPD.com. Today, let's meet 2019 Kia Sportage. And before we begin, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Just like 2019 Hyundai Tucson, 2019 Sportage is a facelift version of 2018 year model. So let me show you what has changed inside and out and even tell you how it drives compared to Hyundai Tucson. Let's start with front. Kia has added these chrome bars just between fog lamps to give the car more stable and wider look. These chrome bars are simple yet most effective changes made to this facelift version, I think. And although it's optional, you can get Sportage with full LED headlamp. Kia started using this cross-type LED DRL starting from the new Forte and they made it more mature for this SUV. And in the middle, they have revised the Tiger Nose grille with bigger patterns. And they also upgraded the skid plate and lower bumper design as well. Guys, let me know what you think about the new front design in the comment section. Thank you. Just like Tucson, there are three engine choices, 1.6 liter diesel, two liter diesel, and two liter turbo gasoline. And our tester is equipped with two liter diesel, producing 186 horsepower and 41 kilogram per meter of torque. And the power is sent through eight-speed automatic to the front wheels. And let me show you how fast Sportage go. It took Sportage about 9.4 seconds to reach 100 kilometers. It sure is much faster compared to the 1.6 liter diesel Tucson we recently tested. Except new wheel design, side profile hasn't changed all that much. So let me show you the second row seats. I am 6'2 and there's pretty enough legroom and headroom for me. Seats are pretty comfortable and they also even have air vents and 12 volt and USB charging port for the second row passengers. Our tester is wearing 245, 45, 19 on front and back. Now let me show you the braking performance of 2019 Kia Sportage. Oh, stop well without much drama. Now let's talk about interior changes. We showed you the floating navigation screen on 2019 Hyundai Tucson, but Kia is still sticking with embedded type. Rather than moving to floating navigation screen, they smoothed out the edges of screen, which they're calling seamless design, and they moved the air vent dial from the side to the bottom. Now let's go out to the road and see how she drives. First, visibility is excellent. Low dashboard design and big windows give the driver excellent view out of the car. And high driving position of SUV only make things better for the driver. 
and there is just about right size and the gauge cluster is easy to see and the climate control which are made of physical buttons is easy to use even while driving. Seats are well padded and sizes big enough to hold big guys and Kia use soft touching materials on dashboard and where your hands are mostly touching but they use hard plastics on the bottom part. There's no more echo sports three driving modes in the car let's put the car in sports and drive because our tester is equipped with two liter diesel which also found in Santa Fe I can really feel the car pulling harder compared to the 1.6 liter diesel from Tucson Compared to the 7 speed DCT from Tucson, it feels a bit slow. However, this 8 speed automatic is just much smoother. And most importantly, you don't have to deal with jerkiness of DCT ever using this automatic. And look, it's got even pedal shifters. The electric steering system feels a bit numb, but it gets job done. I mean, it feels much less artificial compared to the old systems. Although Sportage is an SUV, you can still have fun with it. Now let's check out the efficiency of 2019 Kia Sportage, shall we? Sportage returned 13.6 km per liter in the city and 18.9 km per liter on the highway. So the 1.6 liter diesel returned better gas mileage. But still, 2 liter diesel isn't all that bad either when you think about its performance. Sportage is packed with various driving aids. And let me show you a newly added one called HDA. You can activate the system by just simply turning on the adaptive cruise control on the designated highway. Once the system is on, it's going to steer itself and keep a safe distance with the car in front. And most importantly, it will slow down in front of speed detectors. How cool is that? But for your own safety, always keep your hand on the steering wheel. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back with more car reviews. And before you leave, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Let me show you the backside. In the middle, it's got LED combination tail lamp. On the bottom, it's got dual exhaust, skid plate, reflector, turn signal, and backlight. Let me show you the trunk, inside of trunk as well. Yes, it's got a cargo net, and under there it's got a fix up flat kit and some storage area as well. And with the push up button, it closes automatically. Cute! Yes, it's two liter diesel, all right. <laughs> so it's got two 12 volt outlets and USB charging port and a wireless charging pad, even for my iPhone. And one funny thing is it only works when door is closed. See? But you have to put it back.
Funny. <laughs> I forgot to mention about this big ass panorama mixer move. Pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> 